Hello, Dr. Heather Gibson here, Doctor of Physical Therapy. I am going to show you a few ideas for stretching today, literally from your bed. So these are great options if you have reduced mobility. If you are like me, had an ankle surgery, maybe you have a foot surgery, you have a cast on, and you're not able to weight bear yet. So you're having difficulty getting on and off the floor. You're really feeling like you don't have many options for moving around and stretching your body and everything is starting to feel like it's tightening up because you cannot walk on it. So I'm going to show you an idea to stretch out your hip flexors, your hamstring muscles, and then your um, glute muscles. Okay, so the first one is a modified um, Thomas hip flexor stretch. You're going to go to the side of your bed or you can go to the uh, bottom part of your bed. The side with the cast on is going to be hanging over or the side that you can't wait pair on. You might not have a cast. Um, it's going to be hanging over the edge and the other leg is going to be pulled towards your chest. So literally scoot your booty to the edge of your bed. Drop that leg. Again, the affected leg over the edge. Okay. Let it hang down. You're going to take your other knee and you're going to roll backwards. You can hold that stretch for 15, 30 seconds, even up to a minute if it's not hurting having that leg hanging down too long, okay? So that is a great option to stretch out those tight hip flexors, the muscles on the front of your hip, if you're not able to um, stand and kind of pull that leg towards you, okay? The other option is a hamstring stretch, okay? So you're going to lay on your bed, doesn't matter really if you're laying in whatever angle. But you're going to lay down, you're going to pull that leg up. Holding behind the knee here, all right? 15 to 20 seconds. You can even do an active hamstring release where you're bending and flexing that knee up and down if you're able to move it without it hurting too much, okay? Wow, that feels so good after my legs have been so tight. All right, last idea is again for the glute muscles on the side of your hip. So head to the edge of your bed. You're going to take that leg. You're going to cross it over the other one here. You're going to gently lean forward into it. If that feels too awkward because this leg is not able to be supported, um, you can actually jump off the edge of the bed. Take the affected side and pull it up. So I'm doing kind of a modified pigeon stretch if you're familiar with that. Um, and then again, the other leg is um, actually touching the ground. So my left leg is touching the ground. Uh, my other hip here is angled. I'm gonna gently lean forward and flex into that. Now you do not have to lean all the way forward if you feel like that's impossible and you cannot get there. You can literally stand upright and just slightly hinge forward from your hips and you might already feel a great stretch right there in the side of the hip. Remember, breathe into those stretches. So if you're holding your breath, you feel really tense. It's really hard to get those muscles to relax, okay? Best of luck stretching, best of luck on your recovery. Remember with everything, this too shall pass. Sometimes it can seem like a, an eternity when you're uh, working on getting out of a cast, you have limited mobility, you're not able to walk. But remember, with everything, um, time heals. You're going to get moving again. And hopefully in the meantime, a couple of these stretching ideas um, will help you out and help avoid some of the other annoying um, muscle aches and pains that sometimes go along with having the reduced mobility.